Sammy Smith, Riley Herbst, Carson Quapel, or somebody else. Who's getting the number eight car at JRM in 2024? Obviously, we know Josh Berry is graduating to the NASCAR Cup Series next season with Stuart Haas Racing, taking over that number four car from Kevin Harvick. Up until this point, though, Junior Motorsports has not announced who will be replacing him in that number eight car next season, but there is one name that is absolutely strongly linked to that ride, and that would be Sammy Smith. Sammy Smith, in his first NASCAR Xfinity Series season, already scored a win for Joe Gibbs Racing back at Phoenix in the spring, but since then, it's been a bit of a struggle. He's only recorded four top five finishes this year and 11 top tens with an average finish of 16.4. Meanwhile, his teammate John Harnimacek has been on an absolute tear, but it is his first season in the Xfinity Series, first season with Joe Gibbs Racing. There's some growing pains that go along with it, so you obviously kind of expect a rookie to maybe not have the most bang bang year not everybody's getting the same sort of equipment that ty gibbs got in the extended series right so for sammy smith a win in your first season is pretty remarkable and a really good accomplishment did my insider do that with rcr sure but we're not talking about that right now we're talking about sammy smith and him going over to jrm makes total sense and his name has been linked strongly with that ride he has a tanker full of funding thanks to pilot and flying j who jrm is very 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 familiar with thanks to michael annette and his uh tenure at jrm which did result in a win people do forget that it also propelled travis mack into being a nascar cup series crew chief which uh, you can figure that one out yourself keith rodden's still a crew chief but back to sammy smith it does feel like and seem like he will end up in that number eight car next season, leaving Joe Gibbs Racing. And you're probably thinking, well, who the heck's going to take his spot at Joe Gibbs Racing? The next name on our list is Riley Herbst. And while his name hasn't been too strongly link linked with JRM, obviously it has been because he has an abundance of funding thanks to his family's B2B deal with Monster Energy and their string of gas station convenience stores all across the Southwest. Riley Herbst with that amount of money, is interested, every team is interested in Riley Herbst, and JRM's no different, that's how their business model works, right? Everybody brings a sponsor along, they don't have to go out and find too many partners outside of like Hellman's and Unilever every now and then, and everybody's happy, right? So that's why Riley Herbst's name is linked to JRM and basically every open seat, but it does seem like he is going to rekindle his relationship with Joe Gibbs Racing and possibly head back over there in 2024, leaving Stuart Haas Racing, where he's been pretty upset this season, at least in the second half, and um, going to Joe Gibbs Racing definitely gives him the opportunity to finally maybe get that first win. Riley Herbst has made 136 starts in the NASCAR Xfinity Series and has yet to score a victory. Not ideal, but he does have more top fives and more top tens this season than Sammy Smith does, and I think Sammy Smith is viewed as a much higher prospect than Riley Herbst, so shout out to Riley for outperforming his equipment, at least this season. Granted, his teammate does have a number of wins, but we got to look at things uh, just in the Riley scope. So, Riley Herbst, linked to JRM, likely not heading there, more likely headed to Joe Gibbs Racing. Now the talk of Carson Quapel comes up, and he's the new Josh Berry, right? He's Josh Berry reincarnated, except Josh is still alive, but he seems like he's about to be the next golden boy of JRM, that Dale Jr. is going to do everything he can to make sure that he has a successful career as a driver. He's already on his way to his first Cars Tour Championship with JRM this season. Uh, he just made his Truck Series debut last week at Bristol. Before that, at Kansas, he made his Arca Series debut, ran second there. He's a guy that has a ton of talent. He has a very high ceiling. I mean, like, this is a top-tier prospect for Chevy um, if they get everything together. He does not bring any funding that I can tell, uh, which does make it hard to move him up to the Xfinity Series. Granted, Josh Berry brought zero funding as well, and JRM was able to go out and find partners for him. Carson Quabble and the JRM partners seem to get along very well. The JRM partners seem very happy with him. But I think moving straight from the Cars Tour into a full Xfinity Series season is a big jump. We saw Josh Berry do a limited schedule before making that jump to a full-time uh, season as a full-time participant. And I think we're going to see that with Carson Quapple as well. We're not going to see him full-time next year. We might not even see him full-time in 2025 either. But you're going to see him start to make more and more consistent starts, whether that's in ARCA, truck Xfinity or the combination of all three. He's a guy that's going to quickly move up this ladder and uh, out of the Cars Tour, which it's unfortunate for the Cars Tour because they have a ton of great personalities down there, but it is a great um, proving grounds, a great place to learn racecraft and everything like that. And I think Carson Quapel is just going to be the next guy to, to really showcase what that series is capable of. So 
Those are the three names that make the most sense. Other names out there that we've heard, and I say what we heard is what people have said on the internet because they just have wishful thinking, is Matt Benedetto. I can tell you right now, Matt Benedetto is not going to JRM in 2024, so go ahead and toss that name out the window. Another name is Jeffrey Earnhardt, and a lot of people want him to drive for his uncle, Dale Jr. I just don't think that's going to happen, at least not on a full-time basis. Jeffrey does have a great relationship with his sponsor, Forever Lawn, and maybe they could work out some sort of partial schedule at JRM next year uh, on a, like, maybe 10 race basis or something like that. Take his funding that he had for basically the majority of this season, condense it down, and try to get him into a car that's capable of winning races, and maybe you see that happen, but as, as for a full-time participant, not going to happen. So who do you think gets the ride? And uh, if it's not one of those three names I listed, let me know in the comments because I would love to hear it. Either way, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.